friends, so today I'm going to show you guys how I made this cool Daedric breastplate or cuirass? Cuirass? It's cuirass. 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 I think that's how you say it. Cuirass. So anyway, the breastplate, yeah. So um, I'm going to show you how I made these and the back of it. And I already have a tutorial on how I made the helmets and I have a tutorial on the gauntlets and the bracers and the pauldrons as well. Okay, Mike's gonna um, show... Mike's going to undo the breastplate so you guys can see how I get in and out of it. The design is like a whoo, that's the design. It's a clamshell and basically like I put it on and then we close the sides. It's really, it's really simple, I'll show you. As you guys can see, I have two rows of Velcro. So I have an outside layer and an inside layer. So when this is being put on to me, this first set gets latched into this inner set of Velcro right here. And then to cover that, I have this little plate here. And that just folds over that, but a little bit better when it's actually on. I didn't like latch it very well. So yeah, that's just like how I get in and out of this. Cauldrons are securely on here with some E6000 and hot glue. Let's get into the tutorial. The first thing that I did was wrap my body in cling wrap and masking tape with the help of my wonderful boyfriend. He also helped me draw a line down the middle of my back and the middle of the front. I then cut the pattern off at the sides and started drawing on my pattern. I only do this to one side as I will be mirroring the pattern for the other side and this ensures that everything is perfectly even. I'm just referencing my in-game character who is wearing the armor and drawing on the appropriate details keeping in mind the layers and how exactly it will be built. This will be important later. Here it is all in the dress form. It is heavily marked out and you can never overmark your patterns. Like seriously, marking any detail you can on your patterns is really helpful in the long run. I then cut everything out and start placing it on the foam. I start with the base that sits right over the boobs. I cut that out of six millimeter foam and then I glue it together in the middle. I am now cutting it out and heat forming the booby cups. I'm forming the cups over a round ball and then gluing the two pieces together and this is pretty much how the cups look in game. From there, I'm just pretty much cutting out patterns, cutting it out of foam, gluing it all together. All of this was made with 4mm foam. I do each section at a time to avoid wasting foam, so I will only put one pattern on a section at a time, cut it out, and actually build it. This just keeps me from wasting foam. I also took a photo of the pattern before I cut it so that I knew how the pieces went back together. Even with all my detailed writing on them, you can never be too careful. So when looking at a piece of armor you'd like to build, kind of like imagine it in your brain and tear it apart. How is it layered and maybe how did they build it? It may not work in real life. Most game armors aren't really meant to work in the real world. Skyrim did a really good job at making the armor pretty accurate and wearable. So if you're stuck, maybe check out like Knight's Armor if you're doing a full body build like this. You can kind of get some ideas on how exactly they made it and the strapping and such, but basically just tear it apart in your brain in layers. For some of the patterns, I have to add an extra inch or so onto the foam due to loss of pattern when cutting it out as patterns don't account for layering. So I just make up for whatever I cut into that piece of pattern, just make it up on foam. And here I am cutting out all the raised edges that go on the little spiky bits along the front. I later I'll go back in and cut them because I realize that they are way too long and it doesn't look good. I'm 
using green craft foam as I don't have any EVA foam this thin. I am using it for the detailing on the front middle part of the body and that worked out just fine. I'm adding a lot of layers of foam here. I will go back in later and cut out the inside and leave room for some LEDs as well as cutting away at some foam will help it to not have as many layers that I have to heat form to my body. Next I make the piece that protects the neck. I heat form it and I carefully glue it on top of the breastplate. I think this was 6mm foam. This had to be adjusted quite a bit so that it wouldn't bump into my helmet when I wore it so I did end up like I form, I heat formed this and I cut it down quite a bit. Next it's time for the back. Same thing, lots of patterning and triangle making. Also adding extra length to the spikes so that they have a way to stick to the foam and stick to whatever's above it. Next, I sand out some of the high edges with my Dremel and smooth everything out. And then I create the details that go along the neck. This isn't noticeable in the game, but I'm really extra with my detailing, so I added this in. Next, I fill in the gaps and seams with Quick Seal, and if you use some water, you can actually use your finger and help blend it in a little bit better. The yellow star-shaped piece on the neck is uh, a piece of thin craft foam. I'm not sure what its purpose is on the armor, but it holds the chainmail that I'll be adding after I paint this. Next, I start on the back vent-looking piece, whatever that piece. Oh, Bean, what are you crying about? Uh, I'm just drawing on what I think looks right onto some duct tape and masking tape while Bean looks like she's just falling asleep right there. You're not helping me at all. And then I pattern the little extra piece that sits on top of that vent and it holds some super sick googly eyes. And this is actually my favorite part. I get to play with my soldering iron and burn details into the foam. Remember this is very toxic. I have two windows open, two fans going, and a respirator on. Do not harm your little lungs for this. I didn't really have a method here. I'm just making some lines and dotting some dots. Same thing I've been doing throughout this entire build. You can definitely see as I progress with this build, like I've gotten better at this. Um, and it's kind of cool to see that progression, although it kind of doesn't match, but it's fine. It's fine. So this part was super fun. I got to draw on some almost Daedric looking writing. I don't think it's actual writing. I think it's just like shapes and stuff. And it was fun to practice. Later, paint will go like in between the cracks. So it'll look really cool. Like paint will definitely bring this out. These holes will be where the googly eyes will go. This isn't necessary for making rivets, but I like the sunken look when I add my googly eyes. So I just take my soldering iron and melt the foam until the googly eye fits in. Next, I make the parts that will help me close the costume. I was in the middle of bleaching my hair. I know I've got some yellow tones here. I was just taking my time doing this. I do my hair myself, so I was like, I don't want to fry my hair off trying to go pastel. So anyway, um, yes, hello, yellow hair, hello. I cut out two pieces of six millimeter EVA foam and I glued them to the insides of the costume along the openings and then glue Velcro on. This is how I made the clamshell opening. Next, I pattern the little side spikes, which like, if you think about it, why are they really there? They would just block movement, really. Like, I feel like if you were to go swing your sword, like you would just stab yourself, but whatever. I also made a little raised piece to sit on top and I burned some details into the googly eye holes. Next, I glue those at the sides and I add some Velcro. The Velcro will get attached to the back. Next, I'm covering the Velcro with painter's tape as my dress form doesn't fit this armor too well. Um, and then I Plasti Dip it. I make sure to wrap my dress form in a trash bag before I Plasti Dip. Also, this is toxic, so respirator. All right, and the neck piece. Can't really see this too much, but I did mess it up twice. I remade it, so I didn't get much footage of this, but my dress form and I share the same neck size, so I wrapped her neck in cling wrap and clear tape because I was out of duct tape. Awesome. And I drew on a pattern. 
I then cut the pattern off and put actual duct tape on it once I was able to get some and cut it out of four millimeter foam and glued it all together. Um, and then I also added some little raised details onto it. Then I burned in some details. I can't tell if this line exists in the game, but it looks cool. It looks like a layered armor effect. I don't know, so I, I kept it on. <laughs> After that, I just plasti dipped it, tried everything on once everything was dried, and it's done. Now, the breastplate is ready for painting. I hope you guys found this video helpful, or it inspired you, or maybe answered your question on to how can I close an entire breastplate? This seems hard. It's not hard. It is fine. But thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to check out my Instagram where I post nonsense and selfies and my Patreon where lots of fun stuff happens. And thank you so much to my patrons, Adam Hunt, Aliar, Blue Panda, David Rosenbaum, Eric, Jim W, Kalika Kaiser, Logan Don Carlos, Maois Meridian, Marwin Lorenz, Mer Kitten, Robert Gallardo, Ryan Craig, Suck It Up, Stone the Chicken Guy, and Valdemir. I hope you guys have a super awesome rest of the day. Go do awesome creative things, and I will see you guys next Friday. I literally just woke up, so if I'm like really slow in this tutorial, it's because my brain's like, I'm not at functioning level yet. Mm -hmm.